Hey, this is Nerdy Text Encounter, and I'm going to do a review on Doomsday Clock Issue 3. This won the Twitter poll for my next review. Second place was Mega Man Master Mix Issue 1, so I'll do a review on that one next. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I won't talk too much about it. I'm only give you the highlights, and so I don't spoil anything for those who haven't read it and I really really do recommend it I liked this issue more than issue one and two probably because of all the action in it there's a lot more action in it than the previous two and I'm very interested in where this is going to be going very much we first shot off with how you know Blake the comedian arrives in the DC universe and so as you can see here's Dr. Manhattan um we can see it and the story continues from where they left off with that a.k.a. Osmandias Osmandias they, yep, they're confronting each other the action is really good and you can see that escape Batman and Rorschach speak to each other and Batman doesn't know what to think of him. We and we also continue following Mime and Marionette. We learn that the new Rorschach, Reggie, is not a saint. He's just my hands are dirty too. And this is a good transition from seeing Rorschach then we go into the news. They do a lot of world building like with the news like apparently 97% of superheroes meta humans are Americans. And we are at a all homes facility, retirement home. My guess is that the retirement home is going to be the newsstand owner from the original Watchmen. And this old movie will be the Black Cells comic book. You know, being the analog for the emotions of everyone, the continuing of the, of the plot, like an analog for it. We get to see um, Rorschach's face and I don't know if this is metaphysical or he really is scrubbing his head so hard that it's that he's making himself bleed. Hmm. This is of course one of the best action scenes in the book is when Mime and Marionette fight Joker's gang members, his henchmen. And we learn that Mime uses an invisible gun and knives. While Marionette uses a string of some sort that is able to cut through steel metal. So it is just one of those 
I don't know how it works, but the action is so good that you will forget, like, it doesn't make complete sense unless, you know, comic book logic. So they decided to go off and try to find the Joker. And more fighting over the remote at the time at home. And it is more of the analog with the movies, like how he probably is how it's reflecting the how the old man is feeling here. No, how the old man is feeling here. And when it mentions there's nothing else but memories, we see how we see some of Rorschach's past, like with what happened. And Bruce tells him that he knows where Dr. Manhattan is. And he takes him to where it is, where he is, and I won't give you, show you what happens, but I was actually surprised a little when it happened, but then when I thought about it, it made sense, but I won't spoil it for you. And it just makes me wonder... So what was Batman thinking when he read the journal? And you're just wondering where is this going to go? And yes, we also get you know extra stuff like to help more world building of the universe, like news, articles and um, tabloid style pages, but this is a really, really good book. And I've reread it a few times, and I don't even think I'm getting everything in it. My guess is if you want to probably know more about this, I'm pretty sure Weaponized Nerd Rage would do a much better job at going really more in depth with this. And so I'll leave you a link to his channel in the description, but this is one of the best books I got last week. It is just really good. The action is great. You can follow it well. The art is good. The story makes me interested in seeing what's going to be happening next. And I will be getting the next issue. I'm probably going to get the whole series to have it. But I would just recommend getting it. I would have preferred the Batman cover, but this was the only one that they had at the store. And it's just great. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content if you like it. Hit the notification bell if you, you know, to get notified. And leave a comment saying, did you like it being more vague? Me not telling you everything. And not spoiling it. Or would you rather have me have spoiled it? Please leave a comment. Thank you for watching. And hope you have a great day.